Hi, this is Leslie Langno with Design World Magazine, and today we are at Shinetsu, and I'm here with Greg Lustig, who's the Limbs Process Engineer. We are covering their Limbs Process Development Technology. So, Greg, tell me a little bit, what is the difference between liquid injection molding and other types of plastic polymer molding? The differences with liquid injection molding and plastics are your differences in your machine base. With plastics, your machine base is a hot screw and barrel into a cold mold. With liquid injection molding, you're going into a cold screw and barrel into a hot mold. What are the benefits and what are the limitations of this technology? The benefits of liquid injection molding are you can utilize in healthcare, sometimes long term and short term implantable, and with automotive technologies. What are the limitations? The limitations are with sometimes you have long term implantable, some material companies will allow that, some won't. It depends on your design of your parts, uh, the limitations with the type of product you're manufacturing. What does an engineer need to consider when they're working in a design? Some of the factors you need to keep in mind are the, the tooling, the cost of the tooling itself. With a, an intricate part, your costs are going to be a little more than what you would be with a plastic tool. Can this be used for prototyping or for end use or for both? You can use it for both. Uh, we like to utilize a prototype mold first for the part to ensure that your design is workable and then you can move it into a manufacturing type process. So why would an engineer want to consider liquid injection molding over other types? The benefits of liquid injection molding are the uh, grades, the advantages are your heat resistance to high temperatures and low temperatures, uh, the elastic, the elongation of the material that helps in ways of pull and strength. So they can design parts through this process more than they can with other types of technologies? Yes. This is utilizing our selective material. It is a adhesive material for plastics and substrates. A customer utilized this to do an overmold for this mask. There are two types of overmolding. One is a two shot where you can actually manufacture the same part in one press. And your secondary would be where you manufacture, you have two cells where you manufacture first the plastic substrate and then it goes to your second cell and you can manufacture the limbs that over molds onto the part. So here we are and we're looking at the Arberg machine. So Craig, what is this machine doing? What's, what's it used for here? The Arberg injection molding press that we have in our tech center, we utilize for our Shinitsu materials. Right now we are utilizing a four cavity baby bottle nipple mold for internal trials as well as sending it out to customers and shows for events. Thank you very much, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.